What's going on guys, it's Justin Sprinkle with Most Want We Will, and I'm sure you read the title of this video and it says, Face Your Fears. And you're probably thinking like, this is probably like a how-to video, but honestly, this is just um, a personal thing that I want you to, I want you to listen to and I want you to get the bigger picture here, okay? Um, you know, something that I just, I encountered and, and it's crazy, okay? Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of being vulnerable here and putting my, you know, stuff out there. But, um, so recently I decided to move to California, okay? I'm from Dallas, Texas, and this week I'm moving to California. Been wanting to move to California. Uh, there is uh, some opportunity out there for me to run some Facebook ads for people. There's, um, you know, someone in my life. Uh, it, it's a combination of things, right? So I decided to say, hey, you know what? I think it's time that, you know, I take that step and here's the thing, um, you know, it, it's one of those things inside my mind where I said, you know what, this could be a mistake, but I never know until I try, right? And, and uh, what I found out is that a lot of people have regrets about life on the things that they didn't do compared to the things that they did do and just wish they could take back, right? Like, I mean, you know what I mean? You probably slipped and fell. You wish you could take that back. You Maybe you cheated on somebody. You wish you could take that back. Maybe you said something out of anger. You wish you could take that back. But I'm going to tell you right now, down the road, you're going to have more regrets on the things that you did not do compared to the things that you did do and just wish you could take back, okay? Um, but this, this, this topic is about facing your fears, and I want you to understand something. So, um, you know, three years ago, I decided to go online, right? I left my uh, gym. I was a manager at a gym. Um, I, did, I was very, very good. I'm not, I'm not trying to brag. I was very successful at that. And, but, you know, uh, something was missing in my life. Um, you know, I just, I just wanted something different, right? And I knew everybody was going online. And I said, wow, if I can kind of teach myself online, I'm going to be ahead of the curve. And I got a lot of backlash for it, right? And a lot of you marketers that follow my videos and everything, thank you, by the way, you, you probably are getting that same backlash. And I want you to understand something. So I got a lot of backlash for that, but recently decided to move to California, I got even more backlash. And here's the reason why. Because I have, 11 -year -old I have an 11-year-old daughter, and a lot of them are thinking about, well, one, Justin, if you move too far, how are you going to help me? But number two... What is that going to do to my daughter, Haley, right? And here's the thing. I started noticing that everybody was kind of giving me backlash rather than supporting me. And I know it's, we're so quick to post that on Facebook that, hey, my Facebook friends will like me than my own family or my own best friends. But here's the other thing that, that really stood out to me. I looked at their lives. And these are, these are people that are really, really close to me, okay? So I don't want anybody thinking I'm talking shit or talking down on them. But I looked at them and I, I looked at their lives and I said, well, what have you done? Because, and I asked that question, not being rude, just, you know, you know, like we have, you know, what, 80 years on this planet, whatever, right? You know, 80 to 100 years, maybe some uh, very unfortunate, they get less than that, but if you make it to that age, you know what I mean? You want to look back at your life and say, wow, you know, how much of it did I let fear drive me, right? And I thought to myself, like, should, should I not, me personally, and should my daughter not be able to experience, you know, sunny, sunny California, you know what I mean? The beach, you know what I mean? The mountains, you know what I mean? I mean, if I decide to move to another country, what does that matter? If I decide to move to another state, what does that matter, right? See, instantly when you make a decision, everybody initially thinks, well, how is it going to affect them? And instead of, how is it going to affect you? You know what I mean? Are you going to be okay? Are you going to be able to make it? Are, I mean, and that's all I can say is that when you look at their lives and everything, and you notice that they're not really taking those chances on life, you know what I mean? Do you really want to take their advice? And that's hard because these are people that love you. These are people that care about you. But you know what I mean? It's like, Jesus, I mean, like, what, what have you done? You know what I mean? What have you done to be able to tell me? I mean, you know, I can understand if you touch the stove and you say, Justin, don't touch that stove. That stove is hot. But 
sometimes you haven't actually moved anywhere and yet you're giving me advice about me moving, right? Um, and some people have, you know, done some things and they failed. And so once again, even more fear has crept up on them and they're trying to think that they're saving you. Excuse me. And honestly, you know what I mean? That they're really not. You know, I, I was listening to Gary Vaynerchuk one day and this lady comes up and she said, hey, I was making six figures at my job. I was making six figures at my job. And then, you know, she said, but I wasn't excited and I decided to do something that I love. I started to do what I love. And then she goes, she goes, I was doing good at the job that I loved. I was doing good or the business that I love. I was doing good. I was seeing success. But then everybody started giving their opinions and she started letting her op their opinions dictate her vision, dictate her life, dictate her emotions, right? And what happened? She fell and she lost it all. And th this, is a, this is a weird story, right? Because one part is she took her eyes off her goals. I mean, majority of the time, if we can keep focus on our goals, right? We generally will go ahead and hit those goals, okay? If we know we're going that direction, we will generally get that direction, but we got to stay focused. We got to stay going the route, right? But what happened? She started letting everybody else's opinions dictate her vision. Then her fear crept in and she fell. She lost it. And, you know, I, I don't know if some of you like, you know, or, you know, believe in the Bible, believe in, you know, um, you know, different religions or whatever. But, you know, even those books, those great teachings, they, they teach us to stay focused on you know, what is unseen sometimes, you know, the vision, you know, trusting, having faith, all those things. But yet when we start thinking, oh my God, maybe this won't work. That's exactly when things start falling down. And, you know, maybe you started a business right now, or maybe you want to do something. And let me, let me tell you something. I, I'm not here to tell you to quit your day job. I'm here to just tell you that do you. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, I don't think anybody in this world can fully explain why we're here. You know what I mean? You, you, you don't, and I'm not trying to fight any religion or anything, but nobody can fully explain. So I'm going to give you my opinion, and this is just an opinion, take it or leave it. But I fully believe we're here to experience, right? And the reason why I say that is because we have tons of emotions. We have good emotions. We have bad emotions. And we experience those and you know and, and great teachers say hey usually when a bad emotion comes in that's generally saying that something is wrong right but but i believe that we're here to really take in those experiences and the united states and other countries they have beautiful places they have beautiful people and those are just great things for you to be able to experience i mean i never really got into my online business to really just sit there and say hey I want to make all the money in the world and do all these things. I mean, I did say though, I want to make money to be able to have freedom to be able to have experiences. You know what I mean? Some people will grow up and they'll grow old and they'll never knew what it felt like to maybe, you know, sitting on top of a mountain, swim in the Atlantic ocean. You know what I mean? Uh, swim with the dolphins, drive a Lamborghini and, and you know and those might not be your goals I'm not saying you have to have a Lamborghini but I'm just saying can you imagine that experience you know what I mean some of you can't even fathom because your fear has crept in so much that you just don't even think that it, it, it's capable or possible for you and that's crazy I mean you here's the thing you are just as strong as anybody else you are just as capable as anybody else so why not, right? You know, I, I love when people say life is like a roller coaster. And, and, and they're right. You know, there's ups, there's downs, there's scary parts, there's thrills, there's upside downs. And that's kind of life, right? But who ever said that the, the roller coaster, the end of the ride, whoever said the end of the ride is what we're supposed to be aiming at? Because if that's the case, if that's the case, then don't take this literally, but 
you might as well just kill yourself now because you're only focused on the end of the ride. You know what I mean? You know, to stay safe when you should just be enjoying the actual roller coaster ride. You should be enjoying it. <laughs> you didn't wait in a long ass line to get to the roller coaster just to hurry up to get to the end. You waited in that long ass line because you wanted to experience what it was like riding the roller coaster. And sometimes you need to just take the good when there's a thrill going on, take the bad when it's looping, but it's all an experience. It'll help you grow, it'll help you live. So I see a lot of videos and they say, don't let your friends or family influence you. I guess you can say that this is what this video is all about, but I just feel like, listen, what you need to do is just decide what you want because you're worthy, okay? Decide what you want. And when you know what you want, go for it. And don't let anybody, you know, you know, talk you out of it. Because guess what? If it is a big mistake, it can be fixed. But if it was like the greatest, I mean, I mean, and here's what I mean by that, right? I've seen some people start a business and they failed. I've seen other people go bankrupt, right? They filed for bankruptcy. I've seen people have a divorce and guess what? Those same people that got bankruptcy, they found a way to get a home again. They found a way to get a job again. They found a, a way to be successful again. Those people that have gotten a divorce, even though you know I don't always believe in divorce, but I understand sometimes it's warranted, right? But guess what? There's a lot of people out there that have gotten a divorce and they found love again. You know what I mean? So what I'm saying is, even if you have a bad mistake, you can fix it. You can fix it. It's not the end of the world. You know what I mean? And, and, and it just, it bugs me that people admire all these other great people, but then they don't do anything themselves. You know what I mean? You read the quotes, you read the books, you hear about the stories. Think about Sylvester Stallone, and I can go off on a tangent on that, but that's a great, powerful story. And if you don't know Sylvester Stallone's story, let me know. It's crazy, right? But he was told no a whole bunch of times. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was told no a whole bunch of times. Colonel Sanders was told no a whole bunch of times. I mean, hell, what did they say? Colonel Sanders started his own chicken place at 65 or something like that. I don't know, something like that. Really, really late in his years. Now, I pray that it doesn't take you to be 65 years old before you start. But what I'm saying is you're going to hear some no's. And people are going to look at you weird. But at the end of the day, they're not living your life. Everybody has an opinion, man. Everybody has an opinion on what you should be doing. But then if you turn around and look at them, they're not living it. You know, I mean, think about a basketball or football player. And I'll leave you with this. Basketball or football player. You know, they have the crowd. They have coaches. They have fans. They have um, scouts. And then, and then they have ESPN and all these newscasters constantly talking about them and what they do. Yet all those people are not playing the game. You see what I'm saying? Like, like a fan is in the crowd yelling at a player. Next day, next day after a big game, right? They're all over the news where everybody is talking about how they played. Scouts are talking about it. Coaches are getting on to them. Owners are talk talking to them. Everybody is talking and pointing fingers at them. And all those people are not even playing the game. So sometimes it's like, who are you going to take advice from? People that aren't even playing the game? Or people that are playing the game and living the life that you kind of want. Just my two cents, man. So I hope this video helps you guys. I love y'all. And I mean, that, that was just my story. Hope it works for you. Take care.